It's 7.30, perfectly smooth, no wind. Let's go flying. <laughs> wow. Okay guys, well that was the craziest launch I have seen. I think he just slid his way into the sky on his butt. Can't do that on any other paramotor. Okay guys, so now we are on our way up to Eagle Mountain. Got a little bit of turbulence, nothing too crazy. While up here it's important to manage rotor. It's also super important. I'll idle down a little bit. Super important never to fly directly at the hill. Never do this. Always have an exit. Fly at an angle. If, I, my, my, if my motor dies right now, I could dive off to the right, not just straight into the mountain. Never turn towards the hill. If I want to turn right now, I go right, not left. We're in some rotor. Just like this. There we go. Yeah! Woohoohoo! Rotor ain't nothing. Depends on the rotor. Now it is to be expected right here. The wind is coming from over there. It came up and over this ridge I just crossed and it gave me some rotor on that backside. So I'm actually going to climb and follow this ridge line up right here to my right. I'm gonna take my time. And I'm gonna most importantly keep the glider open. Keeping the glider open is a skill you learn on the ground. That's glider control. You learn to keep that glider open by practicing over and over and over and over again on the ground, taking collapses and stalls and spins and every little thing that that glider wants to do, it will do on the ground. Hence, giving you practice on how to keep it under control on the ground. Uh, we're in some sink. I'm actually not gonna be able to get up right here. So I'm gonna fly away from the mountain and continue to climb. I'm gonna try and get to the front of this ridge over there. That big ridge, that's the one I'm gonna try and get in front of. Follow that one up. Cause over there was some sink, so I wasn't climbing. I could have gone around in circles for an hour and I would have never made it up. Now that spot right there is actually where I landed a couple months back. I was slick.
stupid chase cam. What's up guys? Welcome back. So we are up here. The top of this mountain is about 7,000, 7,500 feet. So we're probably hanging out at about 8,000 feet right now. Absolutely stunning view this morning. All of Utah Lake over here to my left. Uh, I don't know what those mountains are called. We got BYU over there, uh, Mount Timpanogos, Eagle Mountain. We got Super Jordan right behind me. Uh, I don't know what's this way. I'd love to go explore that direction. I don't have anybody to come pick us up though if we did go that way. So I think we'll just kind of hang out up here and explore some of these ridges and mountains. But man, let me tell you, this is one amazing thing about paramotors is getting to come up and explore mountains that you normally never would see. And views, man. Look at these views on views. I'm a simple guy. I like the view. I like the view. Look at this ridge. That looks like fun to carve all the way down to the bottom over there. We, uh, we launch from out over there sometimes because it's a beautiful spot. That's nah, dirt, but it's a big spot, so we got lots of space depending on the wind direction. And uh, let's spin around here. I'll give it a little 360. My chase cam ripperoni back there. No longer working. So there's the... Uh, I hope I locked the truck. I think I did. There's the houses. Uh, that's where we live down there in that housing development. We launched right over there on uh, the side of the housing development. All of Utah Lake. Uh, we got Lone Peak over there. We like to cruise up over into there. Uh, Mount Flat Top is actually right over there. I got to take the good old Flat Top to Mount Flat Top one of these days. Yeah, man, up here having a good time. Look at the views, look at that. I'm gonna get scared of heights if I do this too long. Holy cow, Bunga. We're way the freak up here. I am enjoying the view up here, man. Let's bring it down, see how it is down low. Woo! Hi, Chase Cam. Woo! Let me see if I can fix the Chase Cam. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe I'll just break it off on accident. Oh my gosh, I think I fixed it! Did I fix it? Ah, kinda. I sorta fixed it. Holy crap, holy. What in the world is this thing up here? I do not know. I do not know. There's also an orange flag over there that has me curious. Look at that thing. I don't have a clue. But I know there's power lines up here. Somebody's ripping a dirt bike around it. Atta boy. Look at that. I don't know what that is. Maybe a weather thing? A satellite? Maybe that's how they talk to aliens. I don't know. But let's cruise our way over to the orange flag. Look at that view. Oh my goodness. Just spectacular, guys. Just spectacular. Maybe it's not a flag. Maybe that's a teepee. Huh. I don't know what this is. It's funky. Kinda cool. It's in a tree. Yeah, I don't know what that is. That's interesting. It's a pretty slick place up here, man. Whoa. Let 
let us explore down this ridge, huh? I really want to explore down the back end, but how much gas? Eh, I'm gonna have to take. I could do it. Explore down the back end, come up over there. Pretty slick. Got a cool little ridge here. I'll tell you, it's a neat experience to do this. Where you're flying, you're flying, you're looking at the ground. You're looking at the ground, and then the ground just goes, bye-bye. <laughs> Somebody is ripping a dirt bike up here. That is quite steep. Look at that. That's almost a straight cliff. Holy cow, that is steep. This is pretty slick. I'm a little chilly. It's just a little bit nippy up here. It was 67 at the floor when we launched. Whoops in this canyon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, boys. Look at this. Yeah. Woo we got Jordan dropping her in hot. Let's go, baby. It's still there. I don't want to accidentally snag my chase cam on a tree. This is sweet. Yeah, no hand it. Look, I don't hit it. Woo! Just gliding down ever so slightly.
time to go back. Onward! Well, I'm down. Let's see. Let's see how Jordan handles this. Nailed it. It's flights like that that remind me why I love paramotors so much. I mean, you just let your inner kid out, right? So we go up there and explore. We're just cruising around, looking around, discovering and, and exploring a mountain in which most people will never ever see and doing so from the comfort of a couch. It feels like you're flying on a couch. I mean, that's like the coolest thing about paramotors. I love that. We went up about here and then cruised all the way over there and then went all the way to the back side and around and explored a couple times and then went this way all the way down and then back on that side and then around and up and over and all the way back here. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. If you wanna learn how to fly these things right here, go to flyflytop.com. Thank you.